Hey, what's up? It's Roland. In this video, I am going to show you around Google Webmaster Tools, or what has now become Google Search Console, they're calling it. And I'm going to use our sample site here, legosinmylui.com, which was just recently added to Google Webmaster Tools or Search Console. I'll call it Search Console from here on out. Um, but once you've got your site added to this, which can be added using your Google Analytics uh, code or by other verification methods, um, it will take some time for it to populate with data. So the Google crawlers from Search Console will go out and, and gather the data that will populate within these um, areas here. And we're going to be specifically focusing on the Google index, but um, it's important to also be aware of the other categories such as crawl, traffic, and then search appearance, especially uh, any HTML improvements that might come up. But before I dig into this area, I want to also make it clear that make sure you add both the www dot and the, the non www dot like we've got here into uh, Webmaster Tools and claim them both. Um, if we look at the site here, we can see that uh, the the URL does not have the www dot. If it did, uh, the browser would redirect to it and we would see that here. Um, but that's how you can tell if it has it or not. But at first, uh, our sample site owner did not add it without it. And so none of the data was appearing. So I had to have her go in and re-add this and then add add me to her account on, on this URL as well. Because Google literally looks at them as two separate domains uh, when you have the www dot or not. Okay, and so I don't have much data in here to talk through. So I might have to record this video again once uh, the, the crawlers have a chance to populate it. But um, if we just go down here to Google index and index status, it shows us that the total index is zero, but we know that that is not true because we've seen our site in Google. So just give it some time um, and this will populate. It really doesn't work in live, live time in, in Search Council here. Uh, things kind of take some time, so, so give it that time it needs. There's other things in here. You can tell it's crawling it a little bit already because you can see the content keywords, um, block resources. Yeah, so it hasn't processed your site completely. Um, and so a few other things. Let's look in the crawl category now. Um, crawl errors. These are very important to address all of them. Currently, we've got none, which is good. Um, but you want to continue to monitor that as well. And so right here we can see the crawl stats and right here is uh, what you'll see when you just add it, but just give it time and this stuff will populate as well. So um, the fetch as Google section is very important. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm gonna record the video where I go through and fix all the stuff I've identified on the Legos in my Louis site. And then I'm gonna fetch as Google in order to kind of speed up the crawlers and uh, you know do it for the first time on a good site. Google definitely wants to see you making improvements to the things it says in here and the things that you know will benefit the user, but uh, I want to start this site off on the right foot and not do this necessarily until I've put in place uh, at least the minimum fixes that I know I, I got to go do. So I'll, I'll be coming back to this. Um, Robots.txt, that's also important. You can see it in here. Um, I don't believe you can edit it in here, uh, definitely not. but. Um, but this is very important just to make sure that there are no errors and no warnings. Um, if you do see those, you can Google them and learn more about uh, the specific errors you might be having. Um, I'm not going to go that deep into it. Sitemaps, you definitely want to submit a sitemap. You can add and test it. Um, I'm not going to do that again until once I've had a chance to address some of the issues that I've identified previously uh, on our, our sample site here. So. Um, URL parameters, this is kind of more advanced stuff. Don't worry about this right now. Um, you can read more about it if you want. Security issues uh, is, is nothing, uh, there's nothing here. Um, definitely pay attention to something if there is. Um, and then up here, search appearance and search structured data. Um, this is very important. This is if you're using uh, schema.org markup um, or other kinds of structured data, I guess, but that would be the most common one. Um, and you can see that the theme kind of has some of that built in already, it looks like. So 
um, just one sort of data type. You would see other things, you know, su such things as if you had an e-commerce site, you would have, uh, you know, uh, certain pages marked as products and whatnot, just to give search engines a heads up and say, hey, we're, we're telling you in our search engine language schema that, you know, this page is for a product or this, you know, this title is a product name or there's a basically a schema uh, data type for everything that you can put on a web page. So that's important to do. A lot of themes, uh, premium themes, will have that stuff built into it, which is really nice. And that's why you might start with a premium theme and customize from there. Um, to, to keep moving on, a data highlighter is a way that you can do um, that structured data. You can see you can highlight it and then say what it is and just tell Google. So send a signal besides doing the schema. So you could do it and or. Um, I haven't used this a whole bunch. You can watch this video to learn more. Um, definitely a useful tool if uh, for the right application. HTML improvements. I'm I'm gonna end uh, site links. Uh, I'm not gonna dig into that too much right now. Um, that would be um, you know if I'm gonna go to Google and Google myself here. Let's see. So site links, um, uh, gosh, let's just go. So site links are these right here. So you can promote and demote, or I think just maybe demote certain ones if they're coming up and you don't want them there. Um, kind of give Google, uh, say, hey, I want, uh, you know, I don't want this site appearing there ever. And you can do that within site links and webmaster tools. So um, that's what that is. Um, demote, you just pop that URL in there and it wouldn't appear below. Um, but lastly, the most important part of the, the Google Search Council, it, I think for uh, improving indexing issues when in Google for your website would be addressing any HTML improvements that come up uh, under, under this dashboard. Um, it's, it's, this is, looks like it hasn't crawled it. It says it's crawled it today, but um, definitely give this more time and certain things will start to, to pop up there. I've yet to see very many sites that don't have at least one thing under there. Um, and I think the only reason it's saying this is because it was such recently added as, as to like a day ago. So um, this is important. I'll, maybe I'll make another video uh, once this kind of populates um, or, or showing you on another site. But yeah, that's basically how you would uh, look at Google Search Council or Webmaster Tools previously to resolve any or troubleshoot any indexing problems you're having with your site in Google. And uh, yeah, if you find certain things in here, definitely just Google those and you can read a ton about um, how to address those issues or how it applies to your specific applications. So thanks for listening. I hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks.